What is going on everyone? It is Mr. Warning Hazard with another upload to this channel and it is time to review Minecraft 1.8 which came out September 2nd and I did not know this till yesterday September 7th because I haven't played Minecraft in a while and yesterday I decided to hop on and what do you know? Boom! Minecraft 1.8, the, the bountiful update. Now I'm going to go through a quick list Actually, it's not going to be quick. It's a pretty lengthy list of what they added, and then we're going to go into every, pretty much every aspect that they added um, in the game. So let's get right into it. The first thing that they added is granite, andesite, diorite, stone blocks with smooth versions. Added slime block, iron trap door, prismarine sea lantern blocks. Added the ocean monument, redstone, no red sandstone. Banners, armor stands, coarse dirt, guardian mobs with item drops, endermite mob, rabbits with item drops, mutton and cooked mutton, villagers will hover crops and plant new ones, mossy cobblestone will and mossy stone bricks are now craftable, chiseled stone bricks are now craftable, doors and fences now come in all wood variants, sponge block has regained its water absorbing ability and becomes wet. A spectator game mode was added, which is game mode 3. Added one new achievement. Added customized world type. Added hidden debug mode world type. Worlds can now have a barrier, world barrier. Added um, a crap ton of commands that I'm not going to list. Um, containers can be locked in custom maps by using the lock data tag. Added log slash admin commands, more commands. Added three new statistics. Player skins can now have a double layers across the whole model. Left, right, arms, legs can be edited independently. Added a new player model with smaller arms and a new player skin called Alex. I don't know what that is. Added options for configuring what pieces of the skin that are visible. Blocks can now have custom visual variants in the resource packs. Minecraft Realms now has activity charts so you can see who has been online. Man, I'm running out of breath. Minecraft Realms now lets you upload maps. Difficulty setting is saved per world and can be locked if wanted. Enchanting has been redone. New cost lapis. Lazuli in addition to enchantment levels. Not new, but now costs lapis lazuli. Villager trading has been rebalanced. Anvil repairing has been rebalanced. Considerable faster client side performance. Max render distance has been increased to 32 chunks, 512 blocks. Adventure mode now prevents you from destroying blocks unless your items have the can destroy tag. Data tag. Resource packs can now also define the shape of the block and item and not just their textures. Scoreboards have been given a lot of new features. Tweak the F3 debug screen. Block ID numbers such as one for stone are being replaced by ID number names such as Minecraft uh, colon stone. Server list has been improved. A few minor changes to village and temple generation. Mob heads for players now show both skin layers buttons can now be placed on the ceiling lots and lots of other changes lots and lots of other changes and they finally removed hero brian just kidding that was a lot let's dive into these features Alright, so there is a lot that they added in Minecraft 1.8, so we are going to try to get through this as quickly as possible. The first thing we have is diorite. Now you can find diorite in mines, as well as granite and andesite. Now you can make diorite by using two cobblestone and two quartz, um, and it will yield you two diorite. Now you can also make polished diorite, and it yields four by placing four diorite into a crafting table and then we have granite and this yields one you can make granite by using diorite and quartz and you can also find it in mines to make polished granite you can put four granite um, in a working state table and you can go ahead and make four polished granite as well as andesite to make andesite you need cobblestone one cobblestone and one diorite and you will get two andesite 
You can also make polished andesite, and it yields four with four regular um, andesite in a crafting table. The next thing that they added are slime blocks. Now, I think these look really cool, and the way you craft them is you need nine slime blocks in a crafting table, just like you would make a diamond block or gold or iron or lapis or redstone, whatever, and this is what it looks like. Now, as you can see over here, you can kind of see through it somewhat, and that's kind of what it looks like. But as you'll notice, when I walk over it, boom, it's almost like you're crouching, and I believe it's the same persistence as when it, if you are crouching. Notice, I'm going like this, I get on it, and it's still the same speed, and then I crouch. So, and that is one effect that it has. Now, another effect is this right here. Let's say that I change the game mode. Um, one, no, zero. Game mode zero. Go to survival, and I jump down. Now, normally, that would hurt me, but apparently it won't with slime. Let's test it. Boom. You just bounce, and you keep bouncing until you comp come to a complete stop. But now i got slimes chasing me, so I'm going to change my game mode. <laughs> so if you don't want to get hurt, that's basically that, and apparently... Uh, slimes might have killed that. I don't know. Maybe slimes, um, not killed it. How do you kill slime blocks? But apparently slimes, um, will destroy slime blocks. Next thing they added, which is long overdue, is iron trap doors. To make an iron trap door, it's not like a wooden trap door. Um, you actually use four ingots like that. Now, it's just like this. You can't open it like a wooden trap door. You actually need a lever or some powered source such as redstone. Ocean monuments are new, which are pretty much monuments that you will find in ocean biomes. And in there, you will find some sea lanterns. Now, this right here is a sea lantern. And if I change it to nighttime, you will notice that it has a glow. Now, this is a 15 block um, light. So 15 that way, that way, in all directions, so it produces light. Now you can make a sea lantern with these right here. So you, these right here are shards, and then these are crystals. So you need four shards in the uh, corners, and then crystals uh, in a plus sign. Now this right here is a dark prismarine, and you can make dark prismarines by using shards right here and an ink sack. And that's pretty much just a building block. Same with this. All you need is four shards. And this right here is a prismarine. And then this right here is a prismarine brick. Now, prismarine bricks, you just use nine um, shards. And that will give you a prismarine Next thing, brick. We have some red sandstone. And you can make red sandstone by using red sand. Four right there. And these are found in mesa biomes. Then we have smooth sandstone. That can be created with four sandstone. And then we have chiseled sandstone, which is a corpi scorpion. And you can make chiseled sandstone by using um, half um, br blocks of sandstone. And then to make a half, not a half, to make a staircase, you use that right there, which is pretty much sandstone in a regular pattern. And in order to make a half block, you can use sandstone, you can use smooth stone, or you can use chiseled stone, uh, three across, and that will give you the half stone, half slab. All right, moving on to banners. Now, these are really cool, and this will be good for factions. Um, so basically, these are banners, and this is what it looks like on the back side. Um, they can be turned in whatever direction you want, as you can see right here as well as all different kinds of colors. So I believe there's 16 here. Yes, 16. And then the 16 colors can actually be made into multiple colors. And what I mean by that is that you can have all kinds of variants. So you could have like half yellow, half green. You could do stripes. You can do triangles, squares, everything. I just made a few samples right here. And basically to make a banner, you just use a stick in the bottom and then six pieces of wool um, to just whatever color you want. Now, there are some awesome designs, like that one right there and that one right there. And basically, you just use a banner. Um, you can use a creeper head, skeleton head, 
which is how I made that one. And then you just put the color that you want that to be. So if this was an ink sack, then that right there would be a black creeper head. And then if that was a green and that, then it would be green. So that is banners. The next thing that they added is some good old armor stands. Now this right here is a plain armor stand, nothing on it. And this is an armor stand with some diamond on it. And let me tell you, this is a cool um, thing to just have. So that way you can put it in your house or whatever. Um, this is how you make the stands. You need three sticks on the top, one in the middle, two on each side on the bottom, and a stone half slab in the bottom middle. And I think these are a really cool addition, and it will make your houses look a little better. All right, this right here is coarse dirt, and I think you can find this um, throughout uh, all the Minecraft biomes. And basically, dirt, or not dirt, grass does not grow on this coarse dirt, and also you cannot um, harvest crops on it, so you can't even plow it for planting. So that is coarse dirt. And the next thing that we have are some mobs. Now this right here is, um, they added the ocean monument, which I talked about a while ago. And they also added a guardian, which is right in here. No, it's not. Okay, it must have despawned. So let me put it in there. There it is for you. This is what you'll find in monuments. Let's get a closer look at this. It has one eye, and it just kind of um, floats around and everything, and it is hostile, so it will attack you. And then throughout the ocean monument, there are actually three elder guardians um, per monument, and basically these are a white um, guardian. And f when you kill these guardians, you can get the shards or crystals that I showed a while ago back there. So that right there is a guardian, and right there is what the egg looks like if you wanna know. The next mob they added, but these are passive, are rabbits. Now, I think this is a cool addition, and there are all kinds of rabbits. And then there is one rabbit that is hostile, and it will attack you. It's like this white one, except its eyes are not horizontal, it's vertical. Or not, its eyes are horizontal, not vertical. So just like that. And when you kill a rabbit, you will get raw rabbit, you will get rabbit hide. Now on a rare occasion, you will get a rabbit's foot. And that is it right there. Now hopefully, what I'm hoping is that they will add necklaces that you could use um, later on in Minecraft so you can have a rabbit's foot necklace. And it would give you good luck, as in like less fall damage or less monsters spawn around you. Something to that effect. I think that would be pretty cool. Then you have cooked rabbit, and then you have the spawn rabbit egg. Now this right here despawned again. Um, these are endermites. So let me spawn one in right here for you. Not enderman, but endermites. That's what the egg looks like. It's black with a gray in it. And that's an endermite. Now these are passive. Not passive. These are hostile. So they will kill you. They will attack you. Um, and these spawn when endermen disappear. So if it's if an Enderman disappears at this location, there is a possibility that it will spawn there. Not all the time, though. And there's also a possibility that these will spawn when a player throws an Ender Pearl. So those are the only two um, times that they will spawn, and I'm pretty sure that they are into the Ender World, but I'm not sure. Um, so that is rabbits and Endermites. Let's go ahead and move on to sheep. Now, sheep have been around in Minecraft for a while, but usually you can only get wool from them. Guess what? They added mutton. So now you can get some raw mutton, cook it up, and you get some cooked mutton. So that is what mutton looks like. So now sheeps have more use, and I'm going to set the time to zero because I don't want it to get dark on us. All right, so... Also, mossy cobblestone and mossy items have been in Minecraft for a while, but now you can actually craft them. So I don't really know if I like this because I actually like finding the, excuse me, monster spawners, and I think that's what makes these valuable, but now that you can craft them, what's the point in finding them? So this is how you craft them. To 
make mossy cobblestone, you use cobblestone with some vines. And then this you use, um, what are these called? These are called um, stone bricks, so mossy stone bricks and vines. And then you can get two half slabs of um, stone bricks and you can make chiseled uh, whatever it is. I can't think of what it is right now. Chiseled stone brick. So that is that. This is a really cool addition. Um, as you can know, as you know, um, previously in Minecraft you had two types of doors. You had the wooden door and then you had the iron door. Now they have doors for every single type of wood. Not only do they have doors, they have fences and gates for every single type of wood. Now this is really cool. And one thing that I do like about this addition is they didn't just change the color of the door per wood type of wood. They actually added different looks of the doors. And I think that's pretty cool. So the first, we have an oak door. We have a spruce door, birch door, jungle wood door, acacia door, I believe. And then... Um, I can't think of what this is called. Dark oak. That's what it's called. All right, so those are the types of doors. Now, to make these doors, you just do this, and now you can make, um, it yields three doors per um, time you make a door. I don't think that's how it was in the previous version, 1.7, but if it is, let me know down below because I don't think it is. I think it's a new feature. Um, so that is that for all types of doors. Now, these are the gates and fence posts. So that's just what we had normally, but now we have this, 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 and this. So that is pretty dang cool, I think. Now, something that has been in Minecraft ever since one of the very first versions in creative mode are sponges. These have been around for a while, just not implemented into the game. But now we have sponges. So this is a dry sponge. This is a wet sponge. The wet sponge has water in it. Um, this right here, wet sponge and sponge. So let's get this sponge. And right here we have a 5x5 five five block of water. Now sponges will disintegrate any water or soak up any water 5x5 five by five by 5, I believe. I think it will go 5x5 five five and then 5 high. But I do know that it will go 5. Uh length and width so you put that there boom now you're out of water now you might be thinking to yourself what do you do with a wet sponge well if you want a wet sponge dry again you cannot actually place the wet sponge down and get water you have to come to a furnace so you get come to a furnace you put the wet sponge in and it will yield a dry sponge so Let's just wait on this and make sure it works because I haven't tried this out. I just know that's what it does. There we go. Sponge. So, boom. There we are. We don't need these anymore, so we'll get rid of them. All right. The next thing that they added is a new game mode. Game mode spectator mode. So, to do this, you do slash game mode three. Boom. Now, this is really good for spectating, obviously. Hint, spectating mode. So basically, you just fly around like creative, but you have no blocks, you have no arms. You're basically invisible. Um, and I believe you might be invisible. Let me just check. There we go. All right, F5. So control, or FN, F5. Hold on a second. Boom. As you can see, I'm invisible. You can just see my head. Hey, and it's transparent, and I have a beard. So, FNF5, and FNF5. Boom. So, this is spectator mode, and you can go through blocks. Boom. So, this is pretty cool, and especially if you're a admin on a server or something, and you just want to see how things are going, make sure everyone's doing all right, this is a great mode for that. So, slash game mode one. All right, now we are in creative. All right, here we go. New achievement called Overpowered. And basically, it wants you to build a notch apple. That is the description. Um, basically, what you want to do is go to achievements. 
and you just need to build a gold enchanted apple and you get the achievement overpowered so that is pretty good next thing they added customized world type so i will show you that right now all right so here we are at the main screen and basically if we do single player create new world uh, whatever, go to more options, world type, default, super flat, large biomes, amplified, and now they have the customized. Now, this is really cool because in customize, you can pretty much customize everything in a world, such as the sea level, strongholds, mine shafts, ocean monuments, dungeons, water lakes, lava lakes, lava oceans, biome size, caves, villages, temples, ravines, dungeon count, water lake rarity, Lava Lake Rarity, Biomes, Size of Rivers. Then you can go to the next page. You have Spawn Size, Minimum Height, da dee da dee da This is all kinds of crazy stuff that I do not know. And then you have even more stuff and more stuff, and that is it. So that is the new custom types. Now I want to turn your attention to something else that they added. So let's go back into here because I can't remember what it's called. It's like the debug mode. All right, add a debug mode. Now you might be wondering what this is. Let's go find out. All right, so single player, create new world. If you noticed, it was a debug mode. What you want to go is world type under um, advanced, I believe, more options. Um, basically, what you want to do under world type is hold down shift and click through these, and eventually you will get debug mode. As you can see, debug mode. Let's go ahead and jump in and see what this does. It puts you in spectator mode, and boom, you have pretty much every item there is in Minecraft. And it's in spectator mode, you're just in the sky, and there's no ground at all. And you just come through here, da 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 you get all these items. Now, I'm not sure what the purpose of this is, but I do know that it is pretty sweet because, I don't know, it's just pretty cool. And look at all that fire, would you? That is craziness. Um, let's see what's over here because I haven't explored this all yet. Uh, we got chests, we got redstone, all kinds of stuff. Jeez. So, yeah, pretty much every item in Minecraft. That is that. Um, all kinds of stuff. All right. You get the gist. Let's go back to see what they added next. Okay, so we got debug mode down, and they added more commands. Yay, more commands. Better for puzzle maps. Better for good old servers. And that, all that jazz. So, they also added new statistics. And the statistics that they added are, I will tell you in a second, Hold on, hold on, I got it somewhere. Hold on, just hold on, hold on. All right. They said that they added three more statistics, but I found five. Um, basically, they added detects how many uh, centimeters the player has moved while crouching, detects how many centimeters the move player has moved while sprinting, detects how much time has passed in ticks since the player's last death, detects how many times the player has talked to villagers, and detects how many times the player has traded with villagers. So that is the new statistics, and in the update it said three statistics, but I found five new statistics. That is that, and let's go ahead and just check out the statistics right here. Here it is. Boom. All these nice little statistics that I never look at. Okay. Double layered skins. This is great because now they have double layered skins integrated into the actual Minecraft. So now it is a lot easier to have double layered skins. So basically you could have your beard outside of your face like mine is right now, but you can't see because I'm in first person. But maybe I don't want to show myself. Difficult settings per world and you can lock it, which is optional. This is awesome because normally the only mode that you couldn't change was hardcore. Once you're in a hardcore world, you couldn't go to anything else. But now it is per world. So basically if you go to options and video settings, you can turn the difficulty on easy 
normal, hard, peaceful, and then you can lock it. And that is that. So now you can have it per world. Yay. Enchantments. Now we'll use Lapis Lazuli. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to change the, um, what is it called? Game difficulty, or game mode, game mode, game mode, to zero. To now then, so basically let's get this right here, and we're going to make me master these levels. Look at that, I'm already level 10. So we're gonna get some levels. Boom. Okay. So, let's open this. And let's put in a diamond sword. Now it's asking for lapis lazuli, which normally it would ask for gems. So you put the lapis in there, and now you get that. Take it out. You get some more. Actually, do you get more? It looks like the same exact thing to me. Huh. Okay. Well, whatever. Sharpness. Boom. Now I got sharpness. Um... So yeah, that's that. Now, instead of updating, upgrading your stuff with gems, you use lapis. So now the only use for gems is trading with villagers. So slash game mode one. All right, now villagers and anvils repairing are rebalanced. Max render distance increased to 32 chunks, which is 512 blocks, which is insane, and my computer cannot run that because, yeah, that is insane. I don't know why you need to see that far. 32 chunks is a lot of freaking chunks. That's just a lot of chunks. That is chunky. Now then, adventure mode, you cannot destroy blocks unless it has the item as a data tag that says can destroy. So that's good for adventure maps. And then resource packs can now define textures plus shapes. You could always uh, define textures, but now they can actually change the shape of the texture, if that makes any sense. Not shape of the texture, shape of the item. Next thing, they tweaked F3, the debug button. So let's go to FN F3, boom. Now you get some more stuff, and I can't even find the X, Y, and Z. Oh, there it is. X, Y, Z. It's all in one line. Um, so that is that. And it says, like, facing south, north, plain, light, local difficulty, all kinds of stuff that I never really look at besides my axis, X, Y, and Z. Now, last thing, actually second to last thing, buttons can be placed on ceilings. And yay, just in time for it to rain. So now I'm going to change it to clear because I'm in the god of this world. All right, buttons can be placed on ceilings. This is awesome because I'm going to change the good old um, time set to zero. Okay, buttons can be placed on ceilings. So now it, well, redstone can be run on ceilings with buttons. And that is that. Um, and the last thing that I wanted to add is that they finally removed Hero Brian. I'm just kidding. It's still in the game, and they say that every dang update. I want to thank you guys for watching this video. Let me know what you thought of it down below. Let me know what your favorite update in this update was. What you want to see in the next versions of Minecraft. Destiny comes out tomorrow, and I am getting it you will see videos on here as soon as possible so i want to thank you guys for watching please rate this video down below subscribe for more videos and i will see you later once again i want to thank you for watching this long video i don't know how long it is but i'll let you go adios